Watford midfielder Imran Luza is closing in on a Vicarage Road exit. That is according to reports emerging from France on Friday afternoon. According to L'Equipe journalist Loïc Tanzi, Luza is undergoing a medical with League One side FC Lorient this afternoon after a total agreement was reached between Watford and the French club this afternoon. Luza is set to join the club on loan until the end of the season, although Lorient will have no option to buy, according to Tanzi. Before a ball was kicked in August, it would have been unthinkable that Watford would allow Imran Luza to depart on loan. Indeed, ahead of the championship campaign, many would have argued that he was one of, if not the most talented player on the books at Vicarage Road. So, what has gone wrong? Well, after some disappointing and inconsistent performances during the first half of the season, Luza lost his place in the starting 11, and, this just so happened to coincide with the Hornets putting together a good run. As a result, the Moroccan international has found it difficult to force his way back into the team. Imran loses career in numbers so far, according to Transfermarkt. For example, so far this season, Luza has made 15 championship appearances for the Hornets. However, only two of these have come since the beginning of November. Indeed, in the Hornets' last 14 league matches, Luza has featured just three times, made the bench on seven further occasions, and has missed out on the matchday squad altogether four times. As a result, after he was left out of the matchday squad for a clash last month, Watford head coach Valerian Ismail was quizzed on Luza's absence. Ismail insisted that Luza had done nothing wrong, and urged the Moroccan to force his way back into his plans, saying he expected to see a reaction from players when dropped. It's about performances and the merit of the players. Everyone has performed well and we have expectations for each player, Ismail explained to the Watford Observer last month. This is the way we deal with the squad this season. Jake Livermore was out of the squad at the beginning of the season, as was Edo Kayembe. That doesn't mean you are totally out of things though. We expect a reaction. We expect that our players will always want to fight back and force me and my staff to take a decision. When asked at the same time whether or not Luza could potentially depart in January, Ismail also told the Watford Observer, it's too early to speak about that as we have important games coming up. It is always the same in every team. When players are not playing they are not happy and want a solution. But for now the focus is on us, the championship and the games we will face. With no option to buy included in the deal, and a contract that runs at Vicarage Road until 2028, Luza will return to Watford in the summer following his loan spell. Please subscribe to this channel for more news updates.